Hey everybody, if you have been following along with us on our first year of beekeeping, then you know that we have had some difficulty as far as the queen goes in this colony of Italian honeybees. Now we have this beautiful queen in place and she seems to be doing a wonderful job and I thought that I would share that experience with you. I decided to do a slideshow for you because it was just so difficult to try to work the hive while taking video. So I want to thank my wife for her assistance in holding the frames at all the right angles so that I could take the pictures. Here you can get a real good look at the queen. She's got a large abdomen and it seems that she'll be able to serve the hive for a very long time. I think it's kind of neat. You read a lot of different textbooks on how to take care of bees and you see a lot of pictures, but seeing the worker bees surrounding the queen and tending to her needs, just as you do in pictures and in textbooks, it's a special thing to actually see it taking place. Here you can actually see the queen depositing an egg into one of the cells. She's very busy and didn't seem deterred at all by our presence. She just kept working the entire time that we were working inside of her hive. I'll tell you that we were worried for some time about having a queen in this hive. When we first got it, it didn't seem like we had one at all. And there were many, many frames that had many, many queen cells on them. And we didn't know what we should do. And at one point, we discovered that a queen had emerged and had killed off the other queens that had been started. But even after 14 days, the time that we expected to be able to see her, we hadn't seen anything. So to see her now laying brood like this is really encouraging. You can see some larvae here and everybody seems to be doing a great job in this hive so from laying the eggs to giving out the orders it's been wonderful i enjoyed seeing the bees going around with their uh, pollen sacks just full it was uh, really neat they they stand out even more than the queen does with these bright patches of orange sticking out on their legs it's just a fun thing to try to photograph as they work their way around the hive. This one in particular seemed to be extremely determined. I don't think she could have fit any more inside of those satchels if she tried. And of course, honey production is going well. We don't plan to touch any honey this year. We're going to let them have everything and make sure that they have a good, strong winter. One thing of disappointment is that we added a drone frame onto here to try and make sure that we could control varroa mites. This is the second time that I have scraped this frame and allowed the bees to try to draw on it again and they keep producing the same kind of comb. So if you're familiar with why they might be doing this I would enjoy hearing your theories and possible solutions. We thought that this would be a good way to try to control the mites but if the bees will not draw the comb properly then it's of no use. So I'll leave you here with what I thought was probably the best picture of the queen and just ask you to continue to follow along with us and as we learn and grow we will share our experiences with you. I will tell you that the Russian hive is not doing quite as well. The brood pattern is much more scattered but they are also producing queen cells in there so perhaps the hive itself is not very happy and will supersede her soon. We'll keep you up to date. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.